John 3 verse 18 to 21. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that the light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in God. There is a longing inside mankind for God. So many people attempt to fill this longing for God with different things. Some attempt to fulfill this longing with worldly things like alcohol or sex or relationships or money. Money cannot fulfill a person. Yes, money can raise the standard of living, but it cannot fulfill your desire for God. Within mankind, there is another desire, a desire that is birthed by sin, a desire for darkness. The Bible tells us so clearly that men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. There are people in this world who know that the Word of God is real and that the Word of God is true and Jesus is the Lord and Savior, but yet they reject Him. Why? because men loved darkness rather than light. We have heard much about the events that will characterize the last days, and one of the most prominent of them is the fact that people will take the mark of the beast despite all scriptural warnings against accepting the mark of the beast and the eternal consequences that are attached to them. The people of this world still harden their hearts to the truth of God's word, Despite the fact that God will call the 144,000 and will raise the two witnesses and will send the three angels to warn the people about taking the mark of the beast, the people of this world still harden their hearts to the truth of God's word. Why? Because men love darkness rather than light. One of the reasons people will accept the mark of the beast is because they love darkness rather than light. To walk in darkness means to follow the path of sin. To walk in darkness means to hate righteousness and celebrate ungodliness. People who walk in darkness know the relevance of light, but they choose to walk in dark paths. Rather than having their evils exposed, they esteem the pleasures of sin than enduring for the sake of righteousness. When the beast is revealed in the last days, he will promote the interest of those who are walking in darkness and cause them to prosper. Therefore, many people will accept this mark because they are blinded by the momentary pleasures set before them at the expense of eternal separation from God. When the mark of the beast is introduced, there will be people in the world who know God is real but will reject God and choose the mark of the beast instead. And I will prove it shortly. But before I do, you need to remember this age-old truth. Knowledge about God does not always lead to faith in Him. Demons know and believe there is a God, and yet they are in rebellion against Him. And even now, in our generation, and in the generation that will be living during the period of the mark of the beast, there will be people who know there is a God, but will still categorically refuse to worship Him. They will categorically refuse to repent. Why? Because men love darkness rather than light. In Revelation 6, we see Jesus' opening of the seven seals of God's judgment. Revelation chapter 6, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, 
And he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon, to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of a fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God, and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season, until their their fellow servants also, and their brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. And I beheld when they had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places, and the king of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid himself in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Now I want you to focus on verse 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. Bible Ref Commentary states the following regarding this one verse, that this verse shows us how dreadful the situation looks to those who experience the Lamb's judgment. From the strongest to the weakest among them, they urge the rocks of the mountains to fall on them and to hide them from God and the wrath of the Lamb. Dying in an avalanche seems better to them than experiencing God's judgment. Although they recognize that God reigns supreme from his throne, they refuse to repent and submit to his rule. That particular statement is important. The people of earth at this point know they are the objects of wrath. More specifically, that they are the objects of the wrath of Jesus Christ, the Lamb. This calamity inspires all of mankind to admit in some way a knowledge that most suppress that they are accountable to God. This response agrees with other scripture, indicating that knowledge about God does not always lead to faith in him. This love of darkness is creeping even into churches. There are churches all across the world that you can attend for a whole year and not once will you hear a sermon on sin. I am not saying Christians don't sin. They do. We do, but there is a big difference between a Christian who is battling to live a righteous life from an individual will, wallows and accepts and rejoices in sin. The difference between a saved person and unsaved person when they sin is that one asks forgiveness and seeks repentance, the other carries on their life as normal because sin to them is just like breathing. 
and when the mark of the beast comes, it will be pushed by the man of sin himself. He will push different types of immoralities into the world, and the world will love him for this. Why? Because men love darkness rather than light. Not everyone will be coerced into taking the mark of the beast. Some people will take it because they love the system brought into place by the Antichrist. The Bible warns us that the spirit of the Antichrist is already in the world. The spirit of the Antichrist is preparing the world for his arrival and his mark. The Antichrist spirit is here. It's already started, but people don't see it. 